we know how much you hate losing football matches, losing a penalty shootout must not be any deal better. What's your overriding emotion after that defeat? Penalties. Well, we didn't lose the football match because we were watching the penalty from the competition, uh, which you know, time and time again, we've served it in and did a lot of it. Just a bit disappointing because we practiced penalties yesterday, and the two lads who missed buried their two penalties yesterday in the opposite corner. So, why did he change the minds? Well, he must have pointed back to penalties, but you can't, you can't blame them. We looked a little bit sensitive in the first half and um, a little bit rusty. I think both teams did. I think there was only one shot on goal in the first half and that was the goal. Um, and then um, not a great deal more in the second half. We, we upped the tempo a little bit in the second half, thought we were better second half, played to go at them a bit more. Um, but again, there wasn't many chances and then, you know, we've scored a goal from a great ball from Callum and then Toby's made a great save and that's probably the I think we had them off the line early on in the second half as well, but that's about it really. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was a war of attrition for long, long periods. But you know, it's a new team, young team, I think Burton's experience showed uh, better than ours today. But having said that, we still drew the game. And you know, uh, penalty issues out are always a lot of the, you know, it's, it's something that you can't, you do practice, but you, you can't really equate to it. So. You know, good luck to them, they were clinical with the penalty. Uh, the thing is, I'm pretty confident that neither Atkinson or Burn are going to win the Carabao Cup. So the one thing we've lost is finance, really, that's a disappointing thing. But, you know, we come here again in a few weeks' time and we've got to be better. And hopefully try and take three points, which is going to be a more important prize from the end of the season. You talk about not losing the game in the 90 minutes and we spoke in the build-up about treating it like a league game, just the same. If that had ended at 90 minutes and you'd taken a point with the way it had panned out, would you have been relatively satisfied? Yeah, you know, don't forget, this is it. Quite a few new faces coming in. You know, we've had a raft of injuries, which hasn't helped. Lads haven't done full training that we'd like. You know, Ryan Cassidy being away with Ireland all week. Um, you know, Tom was late back for training because he was at Newcastle and was training right the way through. So, um, Mo and Gare the same, um, and then we've had players out for injury, so you know, to get a team, to field a team, um, they've done well. And, you know, the, the longer they play together, the more they get the idea that the handle of how we want to play the game. I thought the three defenders at the back, the three centre halves, were superb tonight. Um, and you know, we, we've got a time built on that, and um, you know. I thought Ross was probably the best player on the pitch, confident. So we'll keep going and you know, hopefully we can get ourselves in peak optimum form for the start of the season, which is against people. How pleased were you with the three at the back and the change of system to what you normally associated with or have been in the past? Yeah, you know, it's just a case of, of not losing that attack and threat. And, you know, when we do break the lines and we get Joe Pritchard on the ball and Dion and Brian, we look, we look dangerous. We didn't do enough and then we made the wrong decisions, you know, our shooting should have been better. Um, you know, um, Joe will be disappointed, he's put that one over the bar in the first half. And then Dion's elected to pass when he should shoot, um, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but, you know, once we get the lads into full fitness, um, we'll be better and we'll be more of an attacking player. You mentioned your centre half, obviously Cameron Burge has got the goal that got you back in the game. That will be a little boost for him and that'll help his confidence although he didn't look like he was lacking in confidence. No, he's a good player Cameron. You know, I've got no absolutely no doubt about him, he'll be good. A great asset for us. Um, you know, Mark's you got exactly what it says in the Timber Mark, you know, he, he wears his heart on his sleeve, he throws himself in front of everything. Passing still was great tonight as well, so you know the only the only disappointment that you've lost a lot of them. So, you know, sometimes they go play, sometimes they don't. With the injury situation, are you likely to have anybody available for you on Tuesday night that wasn't available for you today? Well, I'm hoping to bring another player on a Monday, so um, I'm hoping he's going to be available for one. Um, and then we'll look, we'll look and see. You know, there's a, but players are slowly getting back. So. You did make an addition today, not eligible to play tonight. Tell us about your new German defensive recruit. Yeah, Stephen Sam, you know, I know him from his days of Liverpool. He used to play against us in bounce games, so I've seen a lot of him play anyway. And then he went to Germany and he, he's had a few problems with injuries 
but he's a he's a game lad. He's very vocal, very passionate about the game, and I think he'd be a good addition to our, our side. Now it gives us four solid central defenders, which you know sometimes that's an area that hasn't been so good to us. And we spoke yesterday about the goalkeeping position. That's something we've still got ongoing, but. Toby Slavin did his chances no harm tonight, did he? Great save, late as in the death. Um, got his fingertips on one of the penalties, which is unfortunate. Um, but no, that, that's, you know, I've made no secret that I'm going to bring another goalkeeper in, but I've got no qualms playing Toby. I think Toby's, I said to you the other day, Toby will play in the Premiership for me. And, and just a thought on the game Tuesday night, that is a competition you've always said where you've got a realistic chance of, of winning it. I'm sure other managers will be saying, I'll use the squad, I'll make changes, we'll use it like pre-season. Is that the way you think about it? We haven't got the squad depth for, uh, at this moment with the injuries to, the, to make too many changes. But you know, we'll, we'll go to win the game by the time and everything.